Yo, 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 what is up, man? It's your boy, Damn D, and we are back with another video, man. Yo, hey, it is what it is, man. It look like the sneaker game is dead. Foot Locker shares drop by nearly 30% as demand for shoes decline. According to Forbes, shoe retailer Foot Locker has sizable share decline in quarter two. The retailer shares dropped by a whopping 33%. Their total sales only dropped by 9.9%. Let's see if we can get more information. I just seen this information on... um. The, the shade room. So let's see if we can get more information. Say, uh, foot locker uh, sales. Let's just see if that popped up. All right. Let's go to the news. Let's see if we can find something on that. Foot locker stock takes a big hit. Is it a resale bargain? Okay. Let me click on the actual Forbes website. All right. So, bada boom, bada bing. Let's uh no, no, let's actually go to the Forbes. All right. All right. So let's click on here. Let me make this a little bigger so y'all can see. And let's see. And let's read it out and see what's going on, man. But I I definitely I definitely noticed that, man. They just making way too many shoes, man. Shoes are just too accessible. They're making random colorways. It's the same shoe. People are not into shoes like that, like they used to be. Like four or five years ago when YouTube was popping and going crazy. It ain't like that no more, man. Times has changed. Shares uh, dropped over 33% on Wednesday after the shoe re retailer reported another decline in the quarterly sales. Uh, blamed the customer softness as an increase shrink. Joining the other retailers who have linked falling sales this year on declines in customer demand and increase in shop lifting. Oh, okay, so maybe this, oh, well, 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 people definitely been stealing a lot of, you know, I've seen a lot of videos out there of people just jacking a whole bunch of shoe stores. So the decline might be come from theft, you know. Um, Foot Locker share price, uh, $15.41. Uh, 15, I don't know what, what, what all this means. Closing, I don't know what all these numbers mean. Uh, 9.9%, 1.9 million, according to his second quarterly, dropped 9.4. Okay, I don't know what all these numbers mean. Foot, Foot Locker uh, reported a 5 million loss through its second quarter and its quarterly loss to 5 cent share uh, compared to the network of 94 million, 99 per. Okay, I don't, I don't know what none of this stuff means because I'm not into uh, shares and stocks and all that stuff. Profits were affected by increased down uh, markdowns and shrink in the industry terms, referring to inventory loss caused by shoplifting and employee and return fraud. Oh, OK. So, oh, so this is why it's going down. All right. So they say the an industry term referring to inventory loss caused by shoplifting, employee theft, and return fraud, increased spending for promotions. So when they say re return fraud, do they mean that people are returning or buying real shoes and then returning the fake shoes? Is that what they say? The company share is down more than uh, 58%. So far this year, um, wow, that's that's very interesting. So is this a video? Is this a video about it? Cause I, huh, this is very very interesting. Let's see what they say in the video after this advertising is gone. Let's see. Today is Gradient Investment Portfolio Management Consultant Marianne Montaigne. Welcome, Marianne. Thank you, Kelly. It's great to see you again. Let's start with Foot Locker, which is on pace for its second worst month of the year. And there have been a lot of them. Uh, it was down 40 percent in May, driven by last quarter's earnings. Mm. Profit margins have been battered by shrink or theft and high promotional activity. And mm. the company is in the middle of a reset that involves closing 400 locations. Marianne, are you paying? Woo! They about to close 400 locations as well? Picking this one up for a turnaround. Now, this is a trading vehicle. It's not really a long-term hold, which is what we at Gradient are more interested in. Sheesh. And I think until...
the municipalities and the states get tougher on crime. They've, they've got a reverse course Jeez. from recent years. I, then uh, this is a company that's quite vulnerable to uh, the mass grab and, and go. Uh, but just given the mm. Dick's report today and the general lack of interest in apparel, I, mm. especially casual type apparel, mm. uh, we'd just stay away from this name. All right. Wow, interesting. All right, and calling for, you know, kind of more vigilance all around for some of these retailers who are affected by shrink. Foot Locker shares, by the way, down 4% today in anticipation of these results and after what we heard from Dix. Let's move on to Urban, which is the owner of Urban Outfitters, Free People, and increases the consumption. A quarter that type of apparel. Oh, wow. So there we go, man. So it seems like it's because of theft, uh, fraud, re re return fraud. And they said that they're going to close over 400 retail stores. Wow. That's crazy. So y'all leave a comment down below, man. Um, I thought it was because, you know, people just not interested in, in shoes no more. And, and I, I feel like people are definitely not interested in shoes like they used to. I mean, I can say that because, you know, me. Yeah, I mean, I still buy my shoes, but I'm not as invested as I was four four years ago. You know what I'm saying? Because it's just. It's just different now, man. Everything's online. Resellers is buying everything. It's just a lot of the fun mall vlogs are not even fun no more it's like it's just it just ain't the same man it just ain't the same so uh there could be a lot of reasons for that but one of the reasons why this <laughs> footlock is about to uh, allegedly you know drop 400 uh close 400 stores is because of theft it's because a uh, uh employee um it said it said because of theft and what what was it again um, employee theft, shoplifting, and return fraud. Interesting, interesting. Y'all leave a comment down below and y'all let me know how y'all feel about this, man. It's your boy, Damn D, signing out. Peace.